Hey everyone, today I'm going to go over uh, what I use for nutrient. I started doing this a few months back. I wanted to give it a uh, test run before I started talking about it on my site. And here it is. I take, yeah I use an old spring container, but it's one gallon. And you can tell it's kind of yellow. Uh, I think you can tell that anyway. Yeah, I think you can tell that. What I added already before I decided to do this video is amino acid. I get it by the, uh, this was originally two pounds, or I think no, it was one pound. One pound of pure amino acid. It's sweet smelling, so I heard that if it's sweet smelling, it's derived from uh, soy. But I don't care, as long as it works, right? What I do is, uh, it's my little half teaspoon. So for this, I put in a full teaspoon of amino acids. And next we're going to put in humic acid. And this states to only put in one quarter teaspoon per gallon of water. Now, my thing's only a half, so I have to uh, approximate. So, well, I'd say that's half a, half a teaspoon or a quarter. So, put that in. Button these bags up later. In the description below, I'm gonna list where I get my nutrients from. They've been good to me. Um, they're fantastic on some prices. Mm, not super awesome on other prices, but it's give and take on as far as pricing goes. What's really nice is no matter what, as long as you're in the continental U.S., Hawaii, and a few outlanding, uh, outlining areas you get free shipping and the shipping is very fast um, I'm in Connecticut and I think they're in the Midwest somewhere I'm not sure I'd have to look it up on their site and I got all their I got all the uh, the two orders I ordered so far I got them within three days that's very good alright next I'm going to add uh, 41838 this is a generic version of the master blend Put it, I'll put it on the page or I'll put it up on the uh, screen right now. All it, It's identical to Master Blend, the tomato Master Blend that Bobby uses. But uh, this is their expensive stuff. I think Bobby has a source where you can get it a lot cheaper, but I only wanted to play around with it, so I got a pound. I actually got two pounds with free shipping, so can't go wrong. But anyway, this says to use one teaspoon per gallon. I'm actually going to put in half that, so half teaspoon. And I'll start speeding this up here because I'm sure this is an exciting video as it is. But uh, next thing is a uh, silicon or silica powder. Why I do the crazy things I do, I don't know. I think uh, silica is uh, one of the building blocks of life, so can't hurt, right? I'm going to do half a, half a teaspoon of that. And you can see, this stuff's going to last a long time. This was, what, one pound? That's going to last me a couple of years, probably. Now, the solution I'm making is for my hydroponic, when I do my lettuce, or my house plants, or if I had a potted plant anything like that, or when I set up my rig in here for the winter, I'll be using this. Um, I just don't want to use anything else. I, I'm trying not to use dirt inside. Dirt invites bugs. I've had my fun. I've had my fill with bugs. No more bugs for me. And so, you know, I can't use uh, compost tea in the house. You know, you just can't do certain things. You can if you're crazy and, you know, you have no roommates and you don't mind the smell, but I'm just going to use the compounds themselves or the chemicals. Next thing is a magne magnesium sulfite. And like I said, I'll list these on the pages while I'm doing it. This I go a little heavy on. I'll do a full teaspoon. I'll do a teaspoon and a half this time around. What I found with magnesium is 
too little is not good for your plants. And of course, if you do way too much, it's not good, but it's one of those things where you could do it one to two teaspoons per gallon of water. It's not going to hurt anything. And now to get the uh, nitrogen up a little bit, I'm going to use a calcium nitrate. And I'll post that. It says for this, this is a little tricky. It says one part to 120 parts water. Well, in one gallon of water, rounding of course, because you know, I'm not going to say this is exactly one gallon. It's close enough. It's what, 128 tablespoons? And there's what, three teaspoons to a tablespoon? I don't know, I'll do the math on the screen. What I do is I keep my nitrogen down just a little bit anyway. So, in, I'm gonna just do one and a half teaspoons. That's it. And I'll button up all these bags later. So that I just, this is why this is convenient. Put the cover back on and shake it like mad. Just go crazy. That's it. Now what I do is I take another little jar I have. I think you can guess where this came from, but I won't say it. And I just give it a little bit. Well, maybe about that much. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, about that much. And, oh, you might get sick. I'm gonna, actually, you know what? I'll move the plant instead. You guys remember my little rescue plant? Let me just bear with me a second. There you go, sorry about that. And I'm just gonna pour it in here. And you can tell I got, I have my, uh, and that's it. I might give it more water, water later, but that's all the nutrient it needs. It'll be good for a couple weeks. You know, once I add a little water. This is uh, perlite. You saw my video on that. I do a, a few inches of perlite on top and no fungus gnats whatsoever. But anyway, that's not what this video is about. But anyway, that is my video on what I mix for my liquid solution. Like I said, I'll use this in uh, my hydroponics and my houseplants. Thanks for watching guys. Hope this was helpful. Take care.